Hi guys, welcome back to sixth part of Core Java tutorial. In the sixth part of this tutorial, I am going to explain what are the rules behind saving a Java program. For this claim, what are the rules? We just consider two situations for saving a Java program. First one is <coughs> program contain only one class. Here is the rules for saving a program contain only one class. First one is you can save the program the program with any valid file name. Second rule is Compile the program using that file name. Last one is run the program by using name of the class in that program. <coughs> okay, now we are going to demonstrate these rules based on a based on an example. So now I am going to create an example program that demonstrate that contain only one, only one class and now I am going to demonstrate how to save that program and how to compile and run that program so now I am going to create a new program that contain only one class here I am going to create a class named first class that class contain a simple method called public void demo1 demo1 is a simple method present in that class <coughs> that method just displays a message on the output screen system dot how dot print ln hello from demo1 method Okay, now I'm going to place main method of that class, main method inside the same class. So public static void main Here is the command line arguments. Here I am just creating an object of the class first first is the object here new new first class <coughs> here first is the object of this class first class now I am going to invoke that method demo1 inside the class by using this object so first dot demo1 Okay, now I am going to save this program in D drive of my computer. So save us. Now I am going to save this program in D drive of my computer. In D drive there is a folder called Java programs. I am going to save this program inside that folder called Java program. <coughs> Here my class name is first class. Uh, now I am going to save this program with the file name demo program. You can see the class name. There is no relationship between the class name and the file name. With extension dot java. Okay. Now I am going to compile this program. So I just open up the command prompt. 
so I type Java C demo program dot Java you can see the program is compiled successfully here the file name is demo program so that's why I compile this program using demo program dot Java after the successful compilation so now before that I just going to run this program by using the same file name you can see an early soccer here you can see that could not load find your main class demo program that means the Java virtual machine JVM will not find the main class main method for running this program so for for getting a clear idea about this just I just going to the D drive of my computer you can see in that folder in that directly in that drive you can see a folder called the Java program I open up that folder you can see <coughs> two files are present here first one is the Java file that I created is called the demo program and there is a dot class extension file you can see the name of the dot class extension file is first class that is the name of the class present in that program that's why this rule if you compile a Java program with any file name and if the compilation is success the compiler will generate the Java bytecode with the name of that class so if you want to run this program you have to run this program by using the same class name so now I am going to run this program using same class name Java Java first class that is the name of that class now you can see that the program is compiled successfully and run successfully and output is obtained Okay guys, thank you for watching. In the next part of this tutorial, I am going to explain how to save a Java program that contain more than one class and if a Java program contain more than one class and one of the class is a public class, then how to save the program. Or if a program containing multiple classes, multiple public classes, then what happens at the time of compilation of that program. Okay guys, thank you for watching. See you in the next part of this tutorial.